say, what is that good for? It's good for this. So if we put that together, I'm going to slow this down a second and show you. This is how this tuma goes. Okay, this Foggy Mountain thing will drive you crazy when you put the left hand in it. Do it real slow again without the left hand. It's like a rumba beat, and there's two ways to do this. There's a way to do it clean and slow, which is... And there's another way to do it fast, which you double pick the third string. to here's how you do the left hand boy this will get you too you have to play B flat with your second finger and using your little finger to hammer on to B and you must use your little finger because there is no power in your third finger when you try to hammer on it's very awkward so little fingers where it's at slowly that is here's the part that messes up everybody's head when you hammer on from B flat to B you have to pick the second string and have an open B. So in effect, you have two B notes. So, remember the pattern is, forget that for right now. So we're just gonna go, we're gonna try to do this. So I'm only picking B flat and I'm hammering on to B and it's not very loud, but it makes a difference, and I'm, but I'm really picking an open B. So I'm picking the third string, then I pick the second string as I hammer on at the same time. Now, if your mind's like everybody else's, you'll say, oh, my God, I can't do that. What is the matter here? So you just have to fiddle with that one to get it. So here it is again. All right, here's the fast way, and why it is the fast way is the double picking thing. It's very staccato and it works at high speed, but it doesn't work good at low speed. It'll sound like... You don't want that at slow speed. You want it to be... Likewise, if you try to play it the slow way, fast it comes up. It rings too much and it doesn't work good. The other method is better.